Welcome to the vendor training course, Identifying Exterior Trash. In this course, I will discuss what defines an item as trash versus personal property. Let's begin. One of the key values Safeguard delivers is a neighborhood free from blight, removing exterior trash and health hazards, as well as consolidating other items, is a key component of this service. Trash identification and removal is a part of every new property you encounter. It is essential that the appropriate steps are taken when handling the trash at the property. As our clients maintain specific business rules and regulations in accordance with the rights of mortgagers and laws designated by the city, county, and state. In many instances, clients will have an allowable to permit the removal of exterior trash or health hazards on site to prevent either neighborhood blight or the threat of health risks. This allowable can exist regardless of the loan status. However, it is imperative that you distinguish between items considered to be personal property and items considered to be trash. The following definitions and examples will assist you in identifying the types of items you may encounter at a property. But ultimately, you should always follow the work order instructions. First, let's look at personal property. Personal property is defined as any item that has a garage sale value. An item with garage sale value should be considered any household item, wanted or unwanted, but will still maintain a financial value. These items can include, but are not limited to, toys, patio furniture, grills, and tools. The condition of the personal property item should not be a determining factor when deciding whether an item is personal property or trash. Let's take a look at some examples of personal property. In the photos you see a child's picnic table, a garden hose spindle, and planters, tires, a couch, a detached car door, and a used grill. Although these items appear to be used, worn, and neglected, they still remain usable and would have a garage sale value. In some cases, the work order will require you to consolidate all personal property to the rear of the property and out of the street view. When possible, and based on the client guidelines, these items should be locked in a garage or outbuilding. Personal property should not be removed from the property unless approved by the client to do so. Next, let's look at trash. Trash is defined as anything such as waste, garbage, or discarded items that have been intentionally disposed of and have no usable or sellable value. This can include, but is not limited to, old newspapers, empty packaging, empty food wrappers, and broken items. Let's take a look at some examples of trash. In the photos you see broken containers and grocery bags, empty bottles and broken hangers, riding cardboard boxes, wet newspapers, damaged shingles on the ground, and a rotting mattress. Although these items were once usable, they now maintain no value and should be discarded. These items would be subject to an allowable to remove exterior trash to eliminate blight. When removing items considered trash, be sure to take clear pictures of the items to justify the removal. A property could also have natural and landscape trash. This type of trash is defined as any item present on the exterior of a property that is a result of the standard yard maintenance needed. This can include sticks, twigs, branches, clippings, or damaged yard decorations left at the property as a result of the natural season changes, storms, or deterioration. In many instances, these items can be removed as trash according to the client parameters in the work order. Let's look at some examples of natural and landscape trash. In the photos, you see sticks throughout the yard, yard clippings, and crumbling decorative brick. These items have no value and can be removed in most cases. Any natural items removed would need to be removed as cubic yards and documented as such. Now let's look at health hazards. Health hazards are defined as any item that poses a potential threat to the property or to individuals in or around the property. This can include items such as rotted or decaying food, animal waste, deceased animals, broken glass, and flammable liquids or chemicals. Let's look at some examples of health hazards. In the photos you see a TV with broken glass, which is dangerous to touch, a paint thinner container, and an old propane tank, which are flammable, and open dog food, which is an infestation risk. As a reminder, removal and proper disposal of toxic materials are subject to local ordinance. 
all local municipal health and safety requirements of disposal must be met. When handling and removing health hazards, you should always be wearing proper clothing, gloves, and eyewear. I hope this course provided you with a better understanding of the difference between personal property and trash. It is important that you always remember to follow the work order instructions when completing services. To learn more about preserving properties, view our additional courses available.